You know, I really hate making this type of video because I always have to do 100 takes and I'm kind of sick of it. And I'm just like, bruh, first, first of all, I, I don't like making this type of video because like, it's like more of a personal thing for me because it co covers something I've talked about for years in person with people, but, or online with close friends and stuff, but. Dating in 2023 is freaking horrible. Now, a lot of people I know are married or have gotten married or are in love or what have you. And I'm just like, I'm just, I'm the single guy, right? I'm a single guy with two cats. I have two cats. And freaking, the horrible thing is that I'm aware. I'm aware that I'm a single guy. And I don't, I no longer give a shit, to be honest with you. I think the last straw for me was uh, back in 2020, of course, when some woman uh, on this dating app, it might have been Facebook dating, it might have been POF, it might have been something, I don't fucking know. Uh, I, I remember Facebook dating was freaking off, uh, you know, just, just, just not even on the app anymore for a while now, but it just recently came back. But I ended up uh, freaking being like, okay. So uh, I was just like, hey, how you doing? And she's like, oh, I'm good. I'm like, and she's like, oh, by the way, I'm not really interested in a relationship right now. I'm like, why? Why are you even on this app then? Why are you even on Facebook dating or POF or wherever it was? What, basically, I asked her, okay, if you're not interested in dating and you're on this dating app, what's the fucking point? Okay, that's what I asked. So what is the point? And she said, well, uh, well, because of the whole virus thing, I'm, I'm not interested in meeting anyone physically right now. I'm like, okay, go away, go away. I have no need to talk to you then. And that sort of was the last straw for me. I stopped dating. I, I stopped trying to date. I mean, maybe I went out freaking uh, during COVID with like somebody I was kind of into, but um, I think by the end of that day, uh, we went over to Kobe's and uh, you know, we yeah. ate. I paid for half, she paid for half. We didn't really talk again. I sometimes see her, see her online or see her uh, pictures on Facebook and stuff. And she seems like she's with somebody now. And she seems like she's happy. But the point being, guys, point being, guys, dating is freaking impossible. And nowadays, I don't give a shit, right? Nowadays, I don't, don't give a shit. And I don't send, you, you remember the my last video where I told you, do not sit for women. Do not sit for women. And. I've already told you why, because you, no one likes a simp, right? No one gets with a simp. No one wants a relationship with a simp. I mean, you, people, the problem is you see porn where people are freaking pretending, you know, they're, they're, these are actors, these are porn actors who are freaking enter, adult entertainment actors talking about the fact that they, Oh, oh, yeah, oh, you're a Sam. Oh, you're a fan of mine. Oh, I don't have Sam. No, that, that's, that's, that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen in real life, guys. It's all fake. Come on. I, I don't understand how these guys are freaking de this desperate, this dumb, this believe that this shit happens in real life. It doesn't. It doesn't. But the point being, guys, is that nobody likes a Sam. Nobody is attracted to a Sam. Nobody wants to do a Sam. Okay? The Sam is probably on the lowest bar that you can imagine. Lowest part you can imagine. Sips are like cancer, right? Cancer. But my point being is, uh, if you want a woman to pay attention to you, okay, you want a woman to pay attention to you, you have to stop paying attention to her. And I know that you people are like, oh, this is hard. This is hard. I sometimes get depressed because I have no one else to fight, help my fight my battles with me. No one to support me when I need it. I sometimes get depressed about that. But to be honest with you, I, I've cried about that. I cried about that last night, to be honest with you. At work. High in, in the back room. I cried because no one gives it. Because no one outside of work, or even inside work, or even out in the real world, nobody gives a shit. I, I, I'll be honest about that and say I cried. But it, it doesn't matter, to be honest with you. It, it just doesn't matter, man. It just doesn't matter. And that's not me freaking being desperate or nothing. I'm not going to be desperate for anyone. I'm not going to be desperate for anyone. Trust me. 
Problem is, people, you have so many men who are desperate now, and they're just like, oh my god, I gotta find somebody. You don't have to find anyone. You don't have to find anyone. You, no one has to find you. No one has to look for anybody. The problem is, you don't have, you don't understand how valuable you are to yourself. And you can be to yourself. If you are a valuable person on the inside, and you have values, morals, integrity, you're probably the best person in the world. You don't have to show anyone that. You only have to know that yourself. You have to be good to yourself. But but people are so uh, like modern day modern dating is freaking holding a bag. People think uh, people think oh I have to be fun. people think I have to be six foot and freaking you don't have to be that. You just have to stop caring about people. You have to stop caring about. To, to be honest with you, when I'm at work or when I'm at anywhere, when I'm around any sort of female, I literally do not give a shit. And people hate me for it. You know why? Because they hate me for it? Because I don't give a shit, right? I'll ignore a woman. I remember walking walking out of a CVS while a woman was walking in. A woman looks at me, smiles, and says, hey. And I just, I just ignored her as I walked out. I was just like, okay. Mm. Okay. Uh... And part of the reason for this picture, women flip their hair back, you know, and, and when I say that, they do this a couple different ways. Some, you know, grab it and flip it, you know, around them. Some pe some just grab their hair, you know, with their hands and, you know, sort of, like, push it to one side or just push it back or something. Some people say this is subconscious. I think it could be subconscious, to be honest with you, because it doesn't make sense. Because if you were to ask them about the, the hair thing, they would be like, I, I, I didn't even notice it. It was just sort of a, inter a, a like a subconscious thing. They they wouldn't probably even notice it because I remember asking uh, my sister why girl why women do this because I was genuinely curious uh, you know why women would do this shit you know and she said I don't know what you're talking about so it's clearly it's subconscious right it, it's not it's not a, a thing at the forefront of their mind it's literally in the back of their mind where they can't see. Which is weird. <sighs> but let me tell you another thing. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of it's kind of weird. It can me either mean you know she's attracted to you, or you know she's giving you a sign to come closer to her, talk to her, or she's you know sort of exposing her vulnerable side. You know, similar to a cat showing its belly. Um, and a lot of times the, their neck will show, and, and it's kind of like it's kind of like a, a vulnerability thing, right? Or it's a nervous. Side. It's, it's kind of a weird thing, to be honest with you. But ladies and gentlemen, my point is you should not simp. You should not simp for these women because they are using you. They are using you. And guess what? You're not, you're, you're, you're not the aggressor in this. Most men don't think being the aggressor is a bad thing. Not in every scenario. In every scenario, you know, you can be the aggressor and have a good time. I mean, you know, sort of the, you can, you, you, you don't necessarily have to be the alpha because the alpha is like one of the worst things you can be. You can be the sigma. The sigma is hated by everybody. I, I, I personally believe I'm a sigma because I'm not a beta, definitely not a beta. I don't simp for women. Betas, betas are the ones who simp for women. A lot of you are betas. I'm sorry to tell you, you're not an alpha. An alpha is the one who sort of string women along, you know, just, I am the type of person who I, I, I have a, a combination of a couple of things from both, but I don't simp for women, and I definitely do not freaking. Uh, I'm not completely uncaring about women. I just don't give a shit about. Them. I just don't give a shit because I know at the end of the day they're gonna leave by showing you sort of interest. Plus, I know that there's no point in caring about them if they're, you know, if if there's no compatibility. So the minute you start caring about somebody, I mean. I'll be honest with you, uh, I've gotten a lot better. I don't freaking scream and holler at women and tell them off and shit anymore. You know what I do do, though? I tell them how it is. I tell them you mean nothing, and you probably will mean nothing for the rest of your life. Or I tell them uh, why they're freaking... I, I remember I told a woman recently, like, this is probably why your ex left you. If you play practical jokes on people for no reason, you do immoral things. So, see you later. Goodbye. Talk, stop talking to me. Which is a very controlled way of saying I don't give a shit. Um, I mean, it's kind of spiteful, but it is what it is. 
Anyway, take care, people.